At this chalk quarry on the North German coast, Europe's largest bucket wheel excavator is hard at work. It can extract a thousand tons of chalk per hour. The material is used to make cement for the world market leader, Holcim. The industry is facing major challenges. A considerable proportion of climate damaging CO2 emissions comes from cement production. It also has a direct impact on the environment. Many cement factories in developing countries are woefully outdated, including places where Holcim operates. Many countries in Africa and Asia do not have the strictest environmental standards. So they're trying out something new here, an environmentally friendly cement production process with no CO2 emissions. Is that even possible? The cement works is located right next to the chalk quarry. It's one of a hundred plants operated by Holcim around the world. Camera crews are rarely allowed on site, but they're keen to show us the changes they're planning. The mined chalk is processed into cement in this rotary kiln at around 1500 degrees Celsius. This generates a lot of CO2. Cement production accounts for about 6 or 7 percent of total global CO2 emissions, a significant proportion. That's why we want to be among the first to steer things in a different direction. The kilns discharge around 1.2 million tons of CO2 every year. This is the chalk in its liquefied form before it's dried. To make production carbon neutral, they need to build new facilities. All the coloured sections need to be rebuilt. There will also be a kiln that runs on pure oxygen. And the harmful CO2 will no longer be released into the air. Instead, it will be processed and then delivered to industrial clients via pipelines. Behind me, you see our cement rotary kiln. That's the heart of our cement works. At this plant, the fuel is burned using the surrounding air. But in the future, we'll switch to pure oxygen. That's something you learn in school. Burning with pure oxygen gives you the optimal combustion. Up on the roof of the cooling tower, he shows us everything they need for carbon neutral production. The immediate task at hand will be building two more big factories. The first is an electrolysis facility. It produces hydrogen which can be used to refuel hybrid vehicles for example. The waste product is pure oxygen. This project will get all of its electricity from wind farms because they produce the most efficient carbon neutral option. The waste product, oxygen, is fed into the cement factory through a pipeline. The oxygen optimizes the combustion process during cement production. The climate damaging CO2 produced during combustion is no longer pumped out through the chimney. Instead, it's fed into a new refinery that uses the CO2 to produce, among other things, biomethanol, an alternative fuel that can be used in cars, for example. The various stages of the new production cycle. But rolling out the new infrastructure everywhere would cost billions. We're investing in this site, in the new types of kilns, and the new oxy-fuel combustion process. We're the pilot project, really. It's worth 500 million euros. We're getting funding from the EU, something like 100 million euros, so that only covers about 20%. The existing factory currently consumes as much electricity as a small town, with 80% already coming from renewable sources. In a few years, it should be 100%, and the conversion of the facility is set for completion by 2029. They're already producing their first cement products involving green power, in green packaging, and with a slightly better carbon footprint than the other products. But most of the cement is still produced conventionally, around 1.3 million tons of it every year. 
It's still unclear how much more the 100% green cement will cost, or how long it will be before all of the company's cement works are climate neutral. What is clear is that the supplies of chalk here will last for many decades to come. <laughs>